The shot you see behind me uh, is a shot of delegates of the National Democratic Congress who are voting in this year's Saturday, May 13, 2023, presidential and parliamentary primaries. And this is the Dion Stairs International School here in the Adenta constituency. Now here, there are over 2,700 delegates who are expected to vote at this center. Now there are three main centers and then about 12 electoral areas, plus two additional ones. One is a constituency executives one and then government appointees now here this constituency uh, has an interesting history because there's no candidate who has ever emerged more than once in Parliament now the sitting MP is Mohammed Adamu Ramadan he's been keenly contested by two other women a former Minister of Gender Nana Oye Bampuado and a youth activist Linda Awuni we are yet to see whether or not Adamu Ramadan would break that jinx that has surrounded the Adentan constituency all these years or whether or not again somebody else is going to emerge so here again is the Adentan constituency in the greater Accra region my name is Eche Atisu follow us for more updates here on Ghana Web TV Christian Kwame Golo is the director of elections in the Adentan constituency how are, how are things going this morning oh election is going on smoothly mm. everything is going on to our expectation okay. uh, so they brought the ballot papers from national to EC this morning. This morning, and we started the process. So everything is going on perfectly. Mm. What what you planned and then what you are seeing this morning is actually intact, but it's still early hours, though. Yes, it's still early hours, but uh, I I, li I like the turn up so far. The turn up is good. It's good. It's very encouraging. And by the close of day. We should expect 2,774 mm -hmm. registered voters casting their ballots. Okay, yeah. I see. Now let's let's project it into more of what will happen after this. We're asking everyone: Is this really the election that will give people the confidence, whether or not the NDC is ready for 2024? Oh, yes, of course, we are overwhelmingly ready for 2024. If you look at the turn up and the way people came out, the enthusiasm is there to to encourage us going into 2024 election. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you, you are a director of elections, so you know what happened within this week, the injunction and all the issues, and then the eventual pullout and all the other ones until the Dr. Kwamna Dufour pulled out. What do you say about those incidences and the, chan the, the effect it could have on the chances oh. of the NDC? We say we had a little problem with that one, with the injunction placed on the election today. That notwithstanding, I think our leaders yeah, and they did a good job for us to not uh, take the election off today, but mm -hmm. it's coming on today. I may say that the injunction had even delayed the processes on the ground when Electoral Commission also issued a communique that they will not be ready to conduct the election for us today. When we read it, our, all in social media, you know how it went out. It's a viral news. So I think that it delay also the processes into some of the organizations, even from the top up to this place. But I would say all well and good. We are we are in the, we are safe and everything is going perfectly and smoothly. Please tell me your name. My name is Mrs. Juliana Ado. And you are from which centre and which electoral area? I'm from uh, Adenta Constituency, but I'm at Ni Ashali. Yes, All right. that's my branch. Have you already voted? Yes, I've just finished. Okay. How did that go for you? Well, I've voted for my candidates. And you are confident your candidates? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. I was going to ask who you voted for. Yes, yes. Oh, but I know right. you are so going you, to ask me that. Who did you vote for? Me. Yes. Look at them, the three. Which person do you think a person like me will vote for? Definitely number two. We want blockments. Yes. The money she's using is from her own pocket. And now you see how the Ghana has turned to. So we want somebody who can come and help the president, Mahama, with her own resources. So I voted for number two. I see. Yes. Do you think the NDC is ready for 2020? Yes, of course. Of course. Why, why do you say Unless that? Unless they are not feeling the heat. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so it's just because of the heat you think that? But you know, you know you are also a Ghanaian or you have traveled and came back within a short period. If you are 
Ghanaian and you are in the country, you should know what I am saying. It seems like this election is what will decide whether or not the NDC is ready for 2024. You are confident that the NDC is ready for 2024? Sure, I'm very, very confident. Because what we are seeing in this council now, in fact, Master, uh, there's no one, even those uh, small children in, 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 in school, when you go to them, they tell you that uh, we are really, really suffering. Suffering. Uh, we, those who, are, uh, who have children, we cannot afford to pay school fees. So if uh, God willing, we end this uh, election successful and then we have our candidate and our uh, parliamentary candidates. I hope 2024, inshallah, we are coming to power.